Hey everyone, in this video I'm so excited to share with you the performance speed that I'm going to uh, going to show you now, like writing operations to Mongo database. And we have two two scripts, DB Migrate Fast and DB Migrate Slow. Um, so generally speaking, this is going to read data from let's say collection A and write to the collection B. And in, we are going to use two different strategies to perform it. And the main thing I want to mention here is uh, this real-world solution uh, from my real experience to increase the uh, speed of writing, like interacting with database and like or generally improving uh, improving the service. And this is, I think, a good example to demonstrate on. Um, so let's get started. We are going to move from Volkswagen Golf to the McLaren, and I hope it will be uh, it will be great. <clears throat> so let's go. We have DB migrate slow script. Um, let's start with like what it's using. It's like synchronous environment, synchronous environment using PyMongo uh, to interact with the Mongo database. And we are basically configuring some logging here, like declaring the database name, a connection string, and our source collection and target collection. Then basically uh, initializing the Mongo, Mongo client. Uh, declaring database and again collection target collection. So we have function fetch products, which is fetching all the products uh, from the collection A, and then bulk write to MongoDB. This is write operation, and it performs basically going through iterating through the products and uh, assigning a new ID to them. And then you, we are using insert many, like for bulk operations, inserting product, inserting multiple products at once. And process batch, uh, we are going to process it, uh, like processing it in batch, uh, in batches at the batches uh, one one k. And that's it. We are going to like basically fetch product in batch and then write it to the other collection. And if there are no any products left, then break the while loop, and that's all. So this looks like a simple script, but um, the the main thing is I have like Mongo database running. Uh, by the way, this is running inside Docker container. Uh, I have a separate video showing how to connect to Mongo database that is running Docker container. If you want, I will put it in the description of this video. Um, cool. So we have about 300 um, 300k products like this uh, let, I don't this is not a complex document structure um, but in real world apps there's probably it's more complicated that than like this one but anyway we have 300k products and now we're going to migrate it to the new collection named uh, new collection so this is a bit not good naming but anyway so let's go and run and debug and there you go, it's running, so let's see how much time it's going to take. Mm. So it's probably take for a while. <laughs> I guess not, I guess it should be around like 25 or something. Maybe 20. So we will see. There you go, 23.26. So I will just write slow, this one. So that was the um, that was the simple synchronous environment. Let's now move to the fast and go through it quickly. So mostly the same configurations. I'm not going to go into all of this again. Um, the main difference. So we, we, the main difference is at the moment, uh, if you spot, we are like this, the functions is now async uh, because this is going to be async environment, and we are running event loop. And event loop is going to be UV loop, which is increases performance significantly. This uh, like uh, library UV loop, and so. And the next thing, important thing is instead of PyMongo, we are going to use Motor Client, uh, async I Motor Client, which is handling database database operations concurrently with MongoDB. And usually, I never saw in real world apps. PyMongo use that much. Maybe for small scaling apps it makes sense, but for large scaling applications, async I motor client is the preferred one. Um, it 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 works perfect. Like there are also mocked libraries for async I motor client for writing unit tests, 
But anyway, I'm again going a bit out of scope. We can discuss this uh, unit testing in different video. So fetch products, bulk write to MongoDB, again, uh, assigning new ID each time while reading from the, uh, from the source collection. Uh, insert many, and yeah, everything is here is same. And except now we are using async IO gather to uh, concurrently run the tasks and we have concurrency limit as well. So um, basically each time uh, we are, th this queries is going to be pushed as tasks and when the task is reached to 10, uh, it's going to run it uh, at once, everything. So cool, this is like combination of async IO gather, motor client and event loop that is running. And let's see the difference, how it's going to affect. Um, so I will save it and run and debug. Let's see. By the way, I will put the scripts in, in GitHub to make everyone available. I will put the source code in the description. And come on. So slow, there you go. 17.15 there you go so the difference is about like five seconds uh, between five and uh, between about five and six seconds and I would say this is considered as significant difference because this is like kind of a simple app which reads from source collection and push to the target collection but in real world applications it's much more like complicated than this um, there should be the, the, the document structure can be a complicated or the reading source can be a different so what I'm trying to say is using synchronous environment with this I don't know um, using synchronous environment for scalable apps is kind of not making sense to me that's why I always prefer if Mongo, Mongo database. If I had to use Mongo database, then definitely motor client and um, and the async IO environment. So I probably said uh, async IO too too much time, but never mind. So uh, this this is all actually. I wanted to show you the difference, and yeah, see you in the next video. And I will put this source code in the description. So cheers.